this video, I am going to explain the solution of Legendre's linear equation. First, we will see what is the Legendre's linear differential equation. An equation of the form a0 into ax plus b whole square y double dash plus a1 into ax plus b y dash plus a2 y is equals to phi of x is called Legendre's linear differential equation. So we'll use the following substitutions to reduce these variable coefficients, that is ax plus b whole square and ax plus b to constant coefficients. For that, uh, we'll take the substitution t is equals to log ax plus b to the base e, or it can be written as e power t is equals to ax plus b, or take b to the left hand side and divide it by a. So x will be e power t minus b by a. So that the derivatives ax plus b into y dash becomes a dy. ax plus b whole square y double dash becomes a square d into d minus y. Similarly, even if we can solve a third order differential equation, that is ax plus b whole cube y triple dash will be equal to a cube d into d minus 1 into d minus 2 into y. Now I'll take up the example 2x plus 1 whole square y double dash minus 6 into 2x plus 1 into y dash plus 16 y is equals to 8 into 2x plus 1 whole square. So t is equals to log 2x plus 1 to the base e or e power t is equals to 2x plus 1. Now the derivatives 2x plus 1 into y dash that is equal to 2 dy. 2x plus 1 whole square y double dash will be 2 square d into d minus 1 into y. 2 square will be 4 d into d t square d into minus 1 will be minus d into y or it will be 4 d square minus 4 d into y. We'll substitute these things in the given equation that is uh, 2x plus 1 whole square y double dash will be 4 d square minus 4 d into y. 6 into minus 6 into 2 dy plus 16 y is equals to 8 into 2x plus 1 which is nothing but e power t whole square so take y common in the left hand side this is 4 d square minus 4 d minus 12 d plus 16 into y equals 8 e power 2 t that is uh, throughout we can divide it by 4 so that it becomes d square minus 4 d plus 4 equals 2 e to the power of 2 t. Put d equals m. The auxiliary equation will be m square minus 4 m plus 4 is equals to 0. And the roots are 2 comma 2. Complementary function. Function will be c1 plus c2 t into e power 2 t. Now to find the particular integral yp is equals to 2 e power 2 t by d square minus 4 d plus 4. Since the numerator is e power 2 t, we have to substitute d is equals to 2. But uh, d when we denominator becomes 0, if we substitute d is equals to 2, because 2 is a root of the auxiliary equation. So in such case, we have to write a t in the numerator and differentiate the denominator d square derivative 2d minus 4d derivative 4 and derivative of 4 will be 0. Again here also if we substitute d equals to again denominator will be 0. So therefore make this as t square differentiate it 2d derivative 2 4 derivative will be 0. 2 gets cancelled so particular integral t square e power 2t. Now we'll combine the complementary function and particular integral that is c1 plus c2t into e power 2t plus c2 plus t square into e power 2t where t is log 2x plus 1 to the base e. Now we'll take up another example 1 plus x whole square into y double dash plus 1 plus x into y dash plus y is equals to 2 into sin log 1 plus x. Since we have 1 plus x whole square, the substitution will be t is equals to log 1 plus x. Our 1 plus x y dash will be 1 dy. Why this is 1? 
coefficient of x is 1. So a will be 1, 1 dy, that is dy. 1 plus x whole square y double dash. Again, a is 1, 1 square d into d minus 1, 1. So it becomes d square minus d into y. So that the given equation becomes t square minus d into y plus dy plus y is equals to 2 sine log 1 plus x is t. Now here plus d and minus d gets cancelled. So therefore it is d square plus 1 into y equals 2 sine t. Now, now uh, d is equals to m. Put d is equals to m. So m square plus 1 is equals to 0. m square is equals to minus 1 m is equals to plus r minus square root of minus 1 that is plus r minus i. Nature of the roots is imaginary. Therefore, complementary function will be c1 cos t plus c2 sin t. Now, to find the particular integral, right hand side 2 sin t by the left hand side d square plus 1. See here sin t means a will be 1. That if you compare with sin a t, a will be 1. So, a square will be 1 minus a square will be minus 1. So therefore, we have to substitute b square is equals to minus a square, which is nothing but minus 1. When we substitute d square equals minus 1, denominator becomes 0. So therefore, write a t in the numerator, differentiate the denominator, d square derivative 2d and derivative of 1 will be 0. 2 gets, uh, 2 gets cancelled, we will get sin t by b. So, in order to make this as d square, multiply both numerator and denominator by capital D. So, it becomes d sin t by d square. Differentiation of sin t will be cos t. d square is minus 1. So, it is minus t cos t. Therefore, general solution is complementary function plus particular integral. c1 cos t plus c2 sin t minus t cos t. What is t? Log 1 plus s2. Basically. Now we'll take the another example x plus 2 whole square y double dash minus x plus 2 into y dash plus y is equals to 3x plus 2. We have x plus 2, therefore t is equals to log x plus to the base e. Or it can be written as e power t is equals to x plus 2. Take 2 to the left hand side, e power t minus 2 is equals to x. So x plus 2 into y dash will be equal to 1 dy because a is 1. x plus 2 whole square y double dash 1 square d into d minus 1 into y. d into d will be d square. d into minus 1 will be minus d. Now if you substitute these things in the given equation, this will be d square minus d into y. This is minus dy plus y is equal to 3. x is e power t minus 2 plus 4. Left hand side d square minus d minus d plus 1 into y. 3 e power t minus 6 plus 4. So this is minus 6 plus 4 will be minus 2. Put d is equals to m. The auxiliary equation will be m square minus 2m plus 1 is equals to 0. Therefore the roots are 1 comma 1. Complementary function will be c1 plus c2t into e power 1t. That is particular integral will be 3 e power t minus 2 by d square minus 2d plus 1 divided into two terms. 3 e power t by d square minus 2d plus 1 minus 2 by d square minus 2d plus 1. Take this as p1 and this as the p2. So that is 3 e power t by d square minus 2d plus 1. Since numerator is e power t, you have to substitute d is equals to 1. When you substitute d equals 1, denominator becomes 0 because 1 is the root of auxiliary equation. So therefore, write t in the numerator, e power t, d square derivative 2d, minus 2d derivative is minus 2. Again, if you substitute d is equals to 1, denominator becomes 0. So therefore, make t as t square, 2d derivative is 2 and derivative of 2 will be 0. Therefore, p1 will be 3t square e power t by 2. And p2 minus 2 by d square minus 2d plus 1. Since numerator is constant, put d is equals to 0. 
since the z d equals 0 so it becomes 0 minus 0 plus 1 so p2 is minus 2 therefore particular integral 3 t square e power t by 2 minus 2 therefore general solution is c1 plus c22 into e power t plus 3 t square e power t by 2 minus 2 where t is equals to log 1 log x plus 2